Man, I've been seeing some pretty low-quality dungeons lately. Isn't there, like, a Yelp for adventurers? Like, uh, maybe, um... Yeah! I'm gonna give this about a one star on Yeah! But there's a dungeon coming up that I'm going to give five stars on Yeah! And maybe at And all the other types of social networking sites for adventurer types. Welcome back to Link's Awakening DX. I finished the Angler Tunnel. Or, no, not the Angler Tunnel. No, that's the, that's the fourth dungeon. The Catfish's Maw. Yeah, that's what it was. And I got myself something nifty. Absolutely nothing. No, it's a shot. Also, I left this hit si hiding here, too. What are you doing? You are being a silly photography mouse. Ridiculous. Come over here. I need to talk to you about something. All right, fine. He can't talk underwater like I supposedly can. All right. Um. Hey, buddy. Can you uh, you have a mouse problem. Do you want to take care of it? Hey, are you listening to me? He's gonna catch a big fish again. All you caught was a necklace so far. All right. He's gonna show us a pro at work. Looks like he caught something big, all right, but it's not a fish. It is a big one. He just landed himself a photography fish. Hey, pho a photography fish. Can you take a picture of yourself? Can you do a selfie? Link, what are you doing? What do you call that? Hey, check out my expert sword. Also, you're drowning now. Oh, he's fine. That's great. So, that was strange and weird and very weirdly strange. And I enjoyed every minute of it. There's also other things I could do now that I got the hook shot. I could go everywhere in the game now. Also, there is a hook shot, and I could use it on buzz blobs and murder them and get pieces of power and other such things. No more cukemen now. That's right, I'm gonna exterminate them because they keep on coming down off their high. We'll go back to Animal Village. We're heading to that cracked wall now, and what is she doing here? Hey, this is Animal Village, not Human Village. She's just sweeping herself across the island. We're gonna find her at the last dungeon. She says, this dungeon is so filthy! That might happen. I mean, weirder things have happened so far in this game. This is one of those those Zelda games that bring it up to 11. And of course, none of these animals are worried about humans invading their town. Marin has them distracted, while the humans go in and steal all their stuff. It's what they do. Just ask the honeybee. Yeah, they keep on giving them a cigarette and then, oh, by the way, we're just gonna take about a few gallons of honey. Now we could finally mess with this thing. Inside is secrets! Well, of course there's always secrets inside something that has a cracked wall, doesn't it? But there's two ways I could go about this secret. I could go up that way, or I could deal with this by using arrow bombs. And I will use arrow bombs. Mainly because I'm just going to be going that way anyway, because there's no way back from here. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. I forgot that I could fall off that side. Might as well use my arrows to murder everything. I really shouldn't be doing this, but we're going to be getting an item that's a lot better than arrows. So what we could also do is you could bomb open this wall, which happens to be right here, and you could go this way, and you could bomb the cracked rock from like over here by doing something like that. But I have the hook shot now, so I don't need to worry about that. Actually, I still need the hook shot because I can't jump that. So, never mind. You still need the hook shot. But it, the bomb arrows make this thing so much easier. So hopefully, I don't jump off the platform this time. The item switching is a little annoying in this game. I'm glad that when they got to the 3D Zeldas, they gave you three items to hold at once instead of just one and your sword. How would you ever want to let go of your sword? Well, we'll see. Also, that was a heart piece I picked up. So, there's not many of those left in the game, really. So, we're going to be seeing less and less of those as the game goes by. That was a bad idea! I thought I had the jump button. 
No, I did not have the jump button. I had to pull yourself into a pit button. But that's all we need to do here. There's another thing in Animal Village that I kind of walked past, but I need an item for it anyway. Luckily, we're close to the mermaid statue. That mermaid statue we saw just sitting by itself, we're gonna be heading there now. Oh, hey, Marin, are you still singing to everybody? She's gonna get laryngitis at this point. Seriously. She needs to take a break. How long have I been roaming around? That's a question for every video game. When you're on an adventure, how long is the adventure really taking? Is it only, like, a few minutes? Is it a few hours? Is it days? If you get stuck in the water temple like I did in Ocarina of Time, does everybody get old and die? So many questions. Right here is the mermaid statue. We have a mermaid scale. If you come to the statue, it says, hey, there's something missing from here. And it opens up to secrets. Finally, it's at an end. I hope. What is... Stop it! Stop it, what is that? What are you doing? Ah! It's La Milano over again! It's the Abuaku! They're after me! Ah! I'm getting out of that room. The heck is this thing? You know what? More importantly, I need hearts! The Abuaku are trying to kill me! Give me! Give me all your hearts! Inside your skull. Some kind of weird creature has a heart inside of its skull. I'm wondering where all these hearts are coming from now, really. What kind of creature's hearts are they? Are they past adventurers? This is the magnifying lens. It's pretty much the lens of truth, but we don't need to use it. We can see invisible things now. So that's what was bothering me. There's another arm mimic. But we needed this. This allows us to see things we couldn't see before. Which is not many things in the game, but they're all, I guess, pretty interesting. Ah, there goes my blaster. There we go. I messed up big time now. Oh, those uh, bomber things, those things. They will die to the hook shot in one hit, and they will turn into fairies when they do so. But the buzz blobs are getting in my way. Die. I said die. You could also join them. Oh, right, it wasn't the hook shot. It's the item that I wanted to get. Hook shot is just plain lame. It can kill everything, but it can't kill whatever those mushroom bombers were. I guess that's what they're called. Hey, maybe the magnifying glass will help me understand art. No. No, it's still weird. I don't think he knows what he's doing at all. I think he just threw paint and said, Hey, look, that's art. I'm gonna sell it to some humans for a billion dollars. Where's this house I'm looking for? Ah, here it is. I detected something here before. It happened to have been a Zora. They're animals, too. He's not a troublemaker, though, like the others. He just wanted to hang out in the animal village. Speaking of animal, here's Photography Mouse. He's now white. He's now a ghost. He drowned in that last incident. I have to take a picture of this Zora, because clearly you see a Zora here. Yep, I found Zora. Everybody found Zora. How did he take a picture of the Zora if the Zora was invisible? Did he put a magnifying glass in front of it? Would that ruin the picture? It would look like a fisheye lens, wouldn't it? Ah, I'm arguing semantics with a video game. I guess I should stop doing that. There's another thing we could do with a magnifying glass, but I have to get over on this side of Mar Martha's Bay now. I'm gonna have to head east and uh, around where the ghost's house was. That's where I'm going to have to go next. Hmm, you know what? I want the water shortcut. There's absolutely no point in going into that cave. No point in going there, either. It's completed! Why would anybody want to go back into a dungeon after they finished it? Except for, like, farming rupees they left behind. But if you left behind rupees, then you're not a good Zelda player. That's the law. Alright, I'm going to have to head this way yet again. To get something that I showed you before, but there was nothing in there. Now there's something in there, because we have magnifying glass powers. Welcome back to Tarombo Shore! I've been this way before. You have to constantly lift these rocks and get them out of the way. 
That's where Marin was telling me about Yanapes, and then I made her my girlfriend by lifting her in the air. So I have to go this way. This door I opened before. Nothing was in it. Now there's a thing in it! It's, um, one of those dudes that threw boomerangs in the first game. He found a good item on the beach! He'll trade it for what we have on our B button. So there's only one expendable thing on my B button that we don't need anymore. I wish it was this, but no, we need it. Also, I'm moving that somewhere. Down here. We need the bow. We definitely need shield. In fact, it says shield level 1, but I don't remember seeing an improved shield anywhere. It's weird. Anyway, what we need is shovel. We don't need shovel anymore. We need to get rid of shovel. So we're gonna trade it for the item he found. Surely it's something lousy and I want my shovel back immediately. It's a boomerang! Of course, it can't be a Zelda game without throwing a throwable baseball bat at people! And this thing is fantastic. This is like the ultimate weapon. Other boomerang stun. This one kills. And it's very good against the final boss, so that's why I wanted to have this. Sadly, I don't think it breaks bushes. Oh, it breaks bushes! The only thing it doesn't do is break rocks. And make your dinner. Because it's a boomerang. You can't throw it at a stove and expect food to come out. I mean, you could try, but I don't think you're gonna get anywhere. So, there is one other area. If I can remember where it is. Oh, it's in, um... It's in the mysterious forest. I could kill many, many enemies with this. In fact, why do I need my sword anymore? Heck with my sword. Put the boomerang on this. And, I don't know, um... My feather. Sword is dead for me for the rest of this video. It's all about boomerang. Ranged weaponry. Powerful range, ranged weaponry. Except that I can't kill regular grass with it. That kind of grass. Too low. I can murder everything else, though. No, 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 Link! You're supposed to put that on your boomerang! Not your sword! Ah! You've ruined it! You've ruined the chance to have a powerful super boomerang. It'll turn into a tactical nuke. The one downside is that I'm helpless while the boomerang is out doing things. So that's the challenge there. I have to head this way! I can kill these things instantly now, and gather the treasure. It's the lazy man's weapon! I have to head in here now. I could have done this earlier, like, immediately after Bottle Grotto, but I kind of let it sit. Because we need the hookshot for it. So, everyone guesses what's in here. It's not a shell. It's 50 rupees! Even though you could be confused if that was indeed a shell, because shells have turned into chests now. They contain 20 rupees. Well, that's the rest of that. I got the magnifying glass. I got the boomerang. I got, um... I got photographs being taken of me. I got the fisherman in the Zora house. I even got 50 rupees. I have lots of money. Hmm, you know what? I, I think I should do something with my money real soon. Yeah, there's something that's nearby Mabe Village we should get out of the way. So I'm gonna have to get out this way and... I wish there was like a warp point somewhere in this area, but no, I have to go to Tal Tal Heights for that. So I'm gonna have to go this way. But it's uh, the final ocarina song. We're gonna have to do some puzzling though. You know what? It's kind of 14 minutes. I might want to save the puzzle for next time. I didn't know it would take this long to find all the secrets and see all the photographs and all. So you know what? I'm just gonna get there. And then we'll take care of it later. I forgot I had that. Also, I think there's something down this way? Oh, right, yeah, I have to do a running jump to get to the area we need to go. So the next time on Link's Awakening DX, we're going in this direction. And we're gonna stop dropping in the pits. Yep, this area. It's the signpost maze! Good night, folks.